It's a fish story for the history books, and it comes courtesy of scientists at the Royal BC Museum. Eight years ago this week, they were on a deep water survey trip, and when they pulled up their net from almost two kilometers deep, they were shocked and thrilled at what they found. Stacy Ross now with today's edition of This Week in History. Gavin Henke is a collector. I'm secretly waiting for my first great white shark. It wasn't a shark, but this. Spiny-eared assfish. It's a hilarious name. Spiny-eared assfish that captured his attention. To be honest, they look like glorified tadpoles to me. So they've got a bulbous head and a slender body. It was a surprise find hauled up during a deep water survey trip on October 11th, 2006. Well, we were off, off the coast between Vancouver Island and Haida Gwaii, and it came up on board, and we all just stood there looking at it, because there was, of all the experts on board this ship, we really had no clue what it was. He knows now, Henke will soon have a paper published on the ass fish, the first of its kind identified in B.C. Well, what's interesting about the ass fish is it's covered in spikes. I mean, it's, it's got spines off the gills, and it's got two little spines off the nose. So it's, it's a fascinating looking fish. It was found 1.7 kilometers below the surface. Though it looks like something from science fiction, it is perfectly suited for deep sea life and is a valued part of the Royal BC Museum's collection. A hundred years from now, it's still going to be here. And someone could say, well, in 2006, what was that species feeding on? Maybe the prey is no longer here. We don't know how people are going to use our specimens, so we preserve them and they're available for researchers. Lessons for future generations and for us today. We're trying to understand British Columbia. I mean, what's unique about British Columbia? How are we connected to the bigger picture? As for the name? The only rules are, I think you can't name it after yourself, so it prevents gross egotists from naming everything after themselves. <laughs> and your name has to be tasteful, it can't be obscene. As fish is tasteful? That's apparently tasteful. That's the common name though. The Latin name is Acanthonus armatus, which is all about spiny, armored fish. So it's, um, that's not rude. Tasteful and treasured, a unique and vital part of British Columbia's natural history. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia's stories together.